At Duke University in Durham, North Carolina, Pankaj Agarwal explores geometric algorithms. In the words of Plato, geometry existed before creation and it leads a soul toward truth. It made me realize that as computers start interacting with the, our physical world, geometry is an integral part. So whenever you use a computer to solve or reason about problem dealing with the physical world, geometry shows up, whether it's at the molecular scale or it's a global scale. What I have done is develop general computational and mathematical techniques to model and analyze geometric data and then apply them to areas such as environmental science, molecular biology, and robotics. We hear all the time, this is the age of big data. As the massive amounts of data are being collected through various sensing devices, the question is what we can do with that data, how we can convert that data into useful knowledge. The foundation of Argawal's research is to find meaningful information in big data sets through the prism of geometry. Collaborating with the researchers at Aarhus University, we were able to develop algorithms for modeling and analyzing large amounts of geospatial data, and that has led to a long and successful collaboration. One of the areas where I've been using my research is to model terrain on our different parts of Earth and analyze hydrology, for example, when heavy rain falls, then which areas will get flooded or because of climate change when the sea level rises. The research is important because mostly for the hydrology you want to build better flood risk maps. You want to know where to build your house, you want to know how much should I pay for insurance in these areas and uh, how, where should I build dams, where should I be worried about flood from various sources. Arus has the leading research center called Mad Algo which is uh, unique in its scope and its expertise. For the last seven years, I have been working with Madalgo researchers on combining geometry with big data sets. Among other things, it has led to the formation of the startup company Scalgo. Yes, yeah, so we founded the company in 2009 to really commercialize this research that we've been doing. And we really want to take all these massive data sets that are out there and make them actionable for, for businesses and actually research institutions and really make it provide good commercial support. This collaboration seeks to offer tools for geospatial data analysis over diverse computing platforms, from cloud to handheld devices. I have benefited tremendously from this uh, successful collaboration, and I hope that will continue.